I I I'd heard something uh, about it at, at one time, but I'd never seen anything. Having seen it um, made me really angry. It made me really really angry because there's not one word in that letter that addresses anything having to do with victims of him, of of Keasley. Nothing, not one word. And to me, that's that's atrocious. Our our souls. Are, are supposed to be the most important thing to the church. And when it really came down to it, to me, it feels like the reputation of the church and avoiding a scandal was important and our souls were disposable. As a victim of this monster, um, people people really need to understand that that what was happening with him was happening long before, um, you know, these you know, 1980 type documents were, were coming out, like the documents that I, I saw, the document I saw yesterday. This was going on long before that. This was going on decades before that with him. And people need to realize that this isn't a guy who was accused of, of one little thing and, or several things, and and that's all there was to it. This 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 guy is a monster. He's a serial predator. And I am at a loss as to how anybody could find any part of that, whether canon law, judicial law, any type of law, how they could find that in any way acceptable. It's always been wrong to hurt a child. I don't care whose laws you're talking about.